a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastofwar.com. It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastofwar.com. What we need right now is a um, something to get the right shape out of there. What I like to use for that is this. It's a piece of... Uh, um, it's labels. It's just uh, stick-on labels that you use uh, to put uh, addresses on it when you're sending out uh, um, letters. What we are going to do, we're going to cut off one of these labels. It really doesn't matter how big they are. Whoops, and I'm cutting into the wrong one, but that doesn't matter too much either. Okay, um, to get this shape right, this shape right, the easiest way, the quickest way and the dirtiest way, probably, but the easiest way, you put this on like that. And what you do is you just, with a pencil, you use the fact that it will bend a bit and you just trace along the edge, sorry, just trace along the edge here and here and here. Oops, okay. This is even more dirty than I expected. So you do something like that. It's just to get a general shape, to be honest. Okay, you cut it out. And let's see if it fits. Mm. Not perfect. Nah, this side I don't like too much. Um, so let's do that again. And take a smaller piece right now. I'm gonna put a sharper point to my pencil. The most important thing is that, yeah, it can bump up to that part over there. Yeah. If it does, you put your finger on it and then... Oh, second. Let's do it like that. Just push in between there following that line. That should be okay. And then do the same thing on the other side. Like that. Okay. That looks better. Cut it out. And let's see if it fits. No. Pretty close, I think. Um, it isn't perfect. Uh, you can do this... Um, if you want to, you can do this in, in tiny slivers and always more and always a bit more and everything until you get it perfect. Um, for me, it doesn't matter too much if it's perfect or not, because once again, this is just something for stability. Uh, you won't be seeing this part anyway, so I'm okay with it being close enough, to be honest. I am going to put a dash here and here so that we know that we have to take this part off anyway. Like that. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, a bit from the top. Perfect. Now, why do you want you to have um, labels, for, labels for these? Because they are um, self-adhesive and you can peel them off. Like so. You can just peel the label off 
Yeah, like so. Let's try that again. Okay, and just put it on your plastic card. And that makes it easier to cut it out, to cut the plastic card out, uh, to cut out the plastic card. So you just follow this line. And the top part here. As always with everything um, of plastic, if you're doing something like this, do it in a couple of goes. Never try to cut through it uh, completely in the first go, because you will just uh, hurt yourself. Okay, let's take that off. Okay, clean up the edges. Like that. And that should be, well, pretty good. You can always, as I said, you won't see this part. Uh, you can always put some green stuff in between there if you want to. I don't think that's necessary at this moment. We peel off the um, label and let's do that again. Let's peel it off and we've got the second part. What you always can do if you want to make it a bit more perfect is um, it's small, you're, well, it's hard to see, to be honest, to be honest, uh, but you can feel it. There's always uh, a little bit of a ridge here on the end. If you cut it like that on the bottom part or on the top part, I'm not sure, I think on the top part, there's always a bit of a ridge. What you can also do, always do is just shave off that ridge like that, and that will make it uh, easier to fit in between the, um, to fit where you want it to go, because the ridge is uh, a bit higher than the rest of the plastic, and that can bump into the parts where you want to glue it. Okay, that being that, uh, let's glue these in place. So we, putting some glue on it here, over these little bumps here. And that's me being stupid again. We have to take this part off first. And that's a part that we shouldn't be applying too much force to because that's the part we have that is relying on the green stuff at the moment. Once again, if you're doing this at home, take your time for this. Let it cure overnight. At this instance, just put it away. Let it cure overnight and come back tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's better. See? So this is nice and flush. I am going, if you look at it, uh, turning it all the way around. Uh, if you're looking at it from this angle, there's a tiny corner here that can be seen. So I'm going to shave that off. That should do it. I'm going to leave this to the side for now because I really want the plastic to uh, dry. Well, the, the, yeah, the plastic to bond really well. And then we're going to come back to it later. Uh, what we do know right now is what the general shape will be. So this will be the general shape. Like so. And like so. That will be the general shape. So we can keep on working on the top part. For the top part, we were going to put this one on here, like that. That should do it. Um, there's a couple of important things to wonder about. Um, yeah. First, this should be here. That's pretty easy. Let's put it on. It's, it's the big gun. It's uh, the, the spiky gun. Like that. There's two important things I'm wondering about, to be honest. Uh, the first one is uh, we need to put, where are they? These guns on. These, um, yeah, scorpion guns, really. There's two ways to do this. I'm going to take this off of the base for a second because I will grow out of range if I don't. The first way to do it is to put it on here. Yeah, I'm going to glue this 
on top of it, because I'm getting bored of it falling off. I'll probably regret this later on, but I've always thought that you can better regret something you have done than regretting something you haven't done. There's a couple of ways to put the pincers on, uh, to put the um, the stinger, because that's what it really is, on. Uh, the first one is the official way. The official way is that you put this on here and put this on the end of it. Which I personally, I'm not a big fan of. So let's see if we can do it in a different way. Um, what we could do is cut parts of it off Put it up so that it goes up and that we can put the this one on top of here it might actually be the coolest one or we could just put them here straight up to it now nah, we're going to put them on higher up i'm going to put this one to the side again that means that these things I have left them separately for a reason, because I thought there would be something like this uh, coming on. What I'm trying to do most of all, to be honest, is to try and only use parts from this kit. Um, I hate it if you see tutorials where people start dragging in other kits and things like that, because yeah, that'll cost you money and yeah, probably something money you don't have at that moment. Um, so let's... Um, Let's get distracted. Focus. Okay, let's focus again. What we have lying around here are these bits. We've got these two bits. We've got two of them. Uh, well, we've got three of them left, but the third one will probably come in handy later on. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to put them like this together. And then we can put these next to it so that you have got, well, it doesn't make sense if I show it like that, because my fingers are in the way. But it will look cool, I promise. Once again, when I do this at home and do something like this at home, uh, this is the moment where I put down the project, uh, go grab a cup of tea, uh, have a long, uh, well, think about it and look at it and, and, and wonder about uh, it. Um, and we don't have that here that time because that would be a pretty boring show. And we don't want boring shows, of course. Um, like this. What will be the best? I'm looking at ways to put these together. Let's just try something. I did something wrong there. Whatever. Okay, um, focus again. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this part off. Like that. I am going to cut this part off so that I have something like that that's left. I'll do the same on the other side, which will be more difficult because I don't want to completely ruin the pins. I am also going to cut off this part. Sorry. This part here. That leaves us with something like this. Okay. And what we're going to try is put it on somewhere here like that so we'll have to see how much more we have to cut away so that i can get it nice and flush yeah that means i'll also have to cut away this part over here so let's do it let's get rid of this 
So once again, I had a general idea of what I was going to do here uh, before I started on this one, but that's about it. I had a general idea and not all that much more. And then, yeah, you just go along as, as you do it and, and all, yeah, sometimes you, you catch up uh, problems and then you have to solve them. This should work here. And uh, that means that this one has to be taken off. It's all dry fitting, um, trial, error, and cutting down the pieces that you don't like. Cutting away the pieces that you don't need. And relying on the fact that you can also always come back with green stuff. Ah, look, that's what I wanted. Something like that. That should do it. Yeah, you've got little cog here on the big cog. That being done, now we're going to do the same with the other part. So let's see. Uh, well, we're going to do it with mirrors, of course. Um, that means first we're going to cut this part away. This part, like that. And shave this down. Like that. And then from the other side of that one, we're going to cut away See, uh, we're going to cut through this thing completely and then cut away this part. And that should probably do the trick. So we've got these two parts. We're going to glue, it, glue them together. Now we're going to see how it fits on the top of this. Um, it should go on there. Like that, see? And it actually looks pretty nice. We're going to take this part off here, where my thumb is. But the rest is pretty okay. We have to do something about that, put some green stuff in between there. But apart from that, I think that should do the trick. So this is the right part. Um, let's get back and make sure that this one looks the same. So I need this and this. Um, and this one should be put on here again. Okay, uh, let's leave that to dry for a second. I'm gonna clear these things off. On top of that, we're gonna put this one and we are going, going to put them on top of it like that. In order for that to fit, we need to take a slice off of this, like so, sorry, like so. Just a thin slice to make sure that there's a flat area over there. And we'll do the same on the other part. Like that. And that way we can glue these on like that. And the other one as well. Really important, uh, one is going on the left, one is going on the right. As you can see, make sure that the one going on the uh, left of him, well, for himself, has got this part, uh, has got the um, screw on the outside. Well, the screw should be on the outside. You've got on the inside, you've got the flat piece here. On the outside, you should have the screws. Because that will look better. Let's see if these are straight. Uh, these are straight. Okay, let's leave that to dry. Um, we're almost done here. Um, we've got the arms to put on there. We've got these to put on there. Um, there's only a few things to clear up, to clean up, sorry. Uh, when looking at it, um, one important question is where do we put the head? Um, the head should usually go up here. Oh, sorry, should go up here like that. Which is cool. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, what we can also do, well, what we, what we could also do is put the head here in the front, down here, which gives it more the idea of a scorpion because the scorpion's head is always in the front here. Um, 
let me see what we are going to do. I actually like the idea of putting them in front here, but that gives us the problem that we don't have anything to put there. I'm seeing if I can find anything else to put there, and I'm coming up pretty empty. Let's postpone that, disc that uh, decision. So what, what are we going to do here? We've got a bit of an ugly spot, sorry, we've got a bit of an ugly spot here. We're going to put the last hover piece on it. Why? Because it looks cool and technical. Um, what else do we need? We need to clear up these bits here. Um, just going to use some green stuff to do that. Then what we also need is we need to uh, cover up these bits here and on the other side. We've got two of these left, so we're just going to put them on like so. Um, I did shave off the top of this, which I which I probably should, shouldn't have done. Um, so either you leave on the top or you yeah you take it off, whatever you like, whatever you prefer. I think it's okay without uh, the bump on it. To be honest, if only because it makes a difference between. It looks a bit more different than the other uh, um, parts. It looks a bit different than the one in the middle, for example. And also because it makes for a flatter profile. If we put them on here, put the little bump on as well, then it will make that part wider. And I don't, mm, I don't necessarily think that that. It will, it will make the model look better. Okay, then let's put these on, on top of here. Like that and like that. Um, I'm wondering what the best way is to put them on, but I'm just going to pin them. Because that will be the easiest and the fastest way, mainly. There's not all that much material to do it, but we're going to do it anyway. We are going to put a... Don't get too far in here, because as you can see, there's not all that much material here. So be careful that you don't drill through it too far. Okay, and then... Mm -hmm. The other one should go here, probably. What I'm doing right now, um, I'm looking at the other side here, um, where the drill should come out. And I'm drilling really slowly, putting very little pressure on it. And the moment I see the material turning white, I know that I've almost gone too far and I can stop right there. That should be enough. The same on the other part. Um, let's make sure that I drill in the exact same spot, mm, which is over here. We're going to put a big pin in it. Like so. Um, let's put one in here. See how far it has to go. Uh, just about here. As always, remember to make them long enough. And the second one, just the same. Yeah, that should go there. Okay, let's put them in here so I can see where they go. I want them to sit nicely flush to the top. So I will be putting them through here and here. This is all a matter of eyeballing it really. Make sure that you go um, straight through. Well, actually I'm going to drill from the other side as well to make sure that this is perfectly <laughs> aligned. Okay, and this should be it. Um, I'm going to put the pins completely through there. One. And 
two. Let me grab my pliers to do that. And then I'm hoping that this will be all right. Uh, oh, look at that. That's actually pretty nice. And on the other side as well. Yeah, I have to clip them down. So I'm going to glue everything in place. A bit of glue here and here. Let's jam this back in, jam these back in. Like that. Let's see if this still fits. It does. So some glue on these. And here. Okay. And then this one should come over here. So I need to clip off a bit more of these here and here. Kids, ask your parents to help you. And this isn't perfectly where I want it to be. So I'm going to bend it up a bit. Contrary to what you would believe, this isn't rocket science, and I'm not a rocket scientist. Just a madman with a drill and a sharp blade that probably shouldn't be allowed to carry any of those anyway. Okay, so what we have here, as you can see, he's got these nice um, stinger on top of his head. Okay, so we are almost there. Um, this is the main body with everything on it. Um, I'm going to stick the head. Still not sure what to do with the head, to be honest. Um, we're going to be a bit boring and put it in its place where it should be. Um, I don't know if it's that important at this instance. Um, you can do both, to be honest. You can put it in here where it should go. Uh, and then it's got its low slung arms. Um, you could also put it in the front, which will probably make it look more like a scorpion because the scorpion face is in the front as well. Uh, but then you have to do something up there to cover up that spot. Um, if you've got any spare bits lying around. For example, if you've got a servitor lying around, you can always glue one in there or half glue one in there because these uh, they, he pops out uh, servitors all the time. So you can always glue one in there um, to make it look like what well, to to fill up that gap actually, and to make that like the the part that makes the servitors. Um, then to finish this off, and then we are going to um, get these in place. I wanted these to be in the front, so let's drill through it. There. Tossing over my super glue over there. Let's see if that fits. Ooh, that does the trick very nicely. And then let's put it on the same space at the other side. So you can either measure this uh, or you can just ogle it. That should do the trick. Let's clip a bit off of this one because it's too long anyway. Like that. Um, some super glue on it. And on this one, and let's get it in here where we want it to be. Wiggle, wiggle. Point them forward like that. And then do it on the other one as well. Like that. Point this one forward as well. Um, and then you get something like this. Which looks nothing like the original, but I think it's pretty cool, to be honest. Um, I'm going to see if I can find something of a base to put it on. Um, I'm going to straighten these things out first. Put some extra glue in between there, so that it all 
sits nicely together. Okay, I just went and got me something um, to fix this monster to the base because it's uh, getting way too big to put it on um, the flight stand, to be honest. Uh, I found me some uh, retribution rec markers, which let's be honest, you're not gonna use anymore uh, anyway, because uh, they don't exist in the game anymore. Uh, I'm just gluing them here in the middle of the base, like that. And what I'm going to try and do is see if it is sturdy, sturdy enough to balance the model on that. Then I am going to drill through here. I'm actually going to put two in there. Like that. Let me take my pin. Um, I'm going to drill a bit further so that it goes into the plastic on top as well. that far. That's better. I'll be running a pin straight through this. This is a this is a two millimeter pin that we're going to put through there and what will happen is that the model will completely rest on this pin which is a bit of a gamble to be honest. There's the hole. It's a bit of a gamble, but it should work. Um, well, I hope it will work. Obviously, if you do this for yourself, you make sure that you get a nice base to it. You um, build the model, you uh, paint the model, and then you find a nice base for it to sit on and you glue it to the base. Um, we'll not be doing that right now because we want it to be separate so yeah, we can still um, paint a model and we don't have time to make fancy big bases uh, for this one because that will take a long time as well. So we're just going to do it a quick and dirty way so that we can finish off this model. Okay, and we're going to drill two holes through the rec marker so that we can balance our model on there. And then we are going to run these two pins through that base. Like that. Oh. They probably should be cut a bit shorter. Anyway, like that. And that. It is a bit, uh, pretty big model at this moment. Um, it's not really something you, would sh you should call a miniature. But that's the way we all like it, let's be honest. Uh, these two should be a bit closer. Since you'll probably be putting grass over this and everything, it doesn't matter too much. You drill in one or two too many holes. Okay, and then we're going to put this through there. Like that. Let's push on him. Okay, like that. And we can bend it a bit with the brass rods. So that we've got something like that. Uh, is he straight? Not completely. He is now. Um, so let me get all this junk out of the way. This is the end result. Um, the things we should do, and I will probably do later on off camera, is clean up all of this. Uh, we need to clean up a bit of the, um, the body here. Well, here you've got two holes that we should clean up. We should probably also clean up this part here and here with a bit of green stuff. Um, we could clean up this 
and this, but I don't even know if it's necessary. Uh, you could leave it as a gap and just let the uh, blue light shine through it, uh, for example. And if you're really uh, anal about things like this, you can also clean up the parts underneath. But as you can see, you can hardly ever see them. Um, you can just see them if you uh, pick up the model and then really look underneath it. Uh, apart from that, I think... Um, yeah, this is a good one. I quite like it, um, especially if you combine it with the other vector that I did um, in a previous video, the other uh, convergence war check that I did. Um, what I like about it is that they look more like animals um, and they look more uh, yeah, feral. The only thing I can say about it. Uh, they look a bit like insects, all of them, uh, even though a scorpion isn't an insect technically. And what I also like about it is that uh, well, the, f the fact that it's more like insects or like, like little creatures means that it combines nicely with the armor that yeah, looks like uh, a more natural armor. So yeah. I like the result. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. If you've got any comments, let me know. If you hate this project, hate this ID, please let me know. Um, and anything else, uh, post it all below here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on beastofwar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastofwar.com. We are the robots. We are the robots.